Soy is one of the most most essential form of protein as it contains nine essential amino acids as well as certain dietary fiber and fats, right? And it becomes a wholesome food for vegetarians to meet their protein requirements. However, the benefit of soy extends beyond completing your protein requirements, and you know it has a positive positive impact on your cardiovascular health, right? So. There's something called soy isoflavone in soy, which could be metabolized by gut microbiome and synthesized into E. coli. Now, E. coli, you know, uh, suppresses superoxide production and makes and improves the nitroxide availability. It also promotes endothelial cell function and regulates cholesterol levels. So, it has a very important role to play in regulating your heart health. Right. So there are numerous sources from which you can get soy. It includes soy chunk, soy milk, uh, tofu, soy beans, right? Even fermented foods such as miso and tempeh, right? However, there's a catch here, right? Uh, soy has something called sulfur-containing amino acids, and certain microbes in your mouth, when active and expressing virulent genes, could could metabolize these sulfur-containing compounds into methyl mercaptan and it also have methanine which could be converted into methyl mercaptan and you know even even volatile sulfur compounds right and and these could be an early uh, indication for heritosis and it causes bad breath and again we know that uh, you know uh, bad breath is again an early sign or early smoke signal for uh, for chronic kidney disease and even it has been found that it is also connected with the onset of oral cancer right so ideally uh, you should consider the benefit of soy which has in terms of you know meeting your protein requirements and even you know uh, protecting protecting your cardiovascular health but it also have numerous uh, harmful impact depending upon how Various compounds and substrate in soy interact with your both oral and gut microbiome, right? So understand this biochemistry, understand how you, how soy interacts with your microbiome, right? To determine whether the soy is good or bad for you right now.